Tyler Soderstrom, he now knows what I'm talking about. As the A's have unbelievable travel, he'll be traveling the country with the Oakland Athletics. Last time we saw you was down at spring training. It's been a while. How are you? I'm great, man. Uh, super excited to be up here, and uh, it's been uh, it's been awesome so far. So, uh, yeah, it's going good. Now, you think when we were down at Ho-Ho Cam and you joined us on the show, we were talking about what that day was going to be like. And you had your thoughts then. You've now lived it with the family, and we've seen your family. So We just had your dad on the show, uh, seeing your family on, uh, on television. and just, did, did it live up to everything you thought it would be? Yeah, 100%. Uh, obviously, as a kid, lifelong dream is to get to the big leagues. Um, so it's pretty surreal still, still kind of settling in. Uh, it's still kind of in that, I guess, honeymoon phase, I guess. It's still kind of wearing off. Uh, but, uh, yeah, man, it's it's been everything – I could have ever dreamed of. Uh, so I'm having fun and uh, just it's going well. Now, your dad said you were acting like a cool customer. What was it now that it's over? What was it like when all of a sudden it's like, I'm here. Here's my first at bat, first game. Yeah. What was the heart rate like? What, how did, what, what was it? What was going through your mind? Uh, everything was pretty fast. Uh, everything was just. Swing felt fast. Everything just kind of felt quick. Uh, but, you know, I've kind of seen in my at-bats, you know, it's just got to learn to slow it down. Uh, so just kind of trying to slow it down. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been going good. But, yeah, I mean, like my dad said, it was, it was a pretty cool moment. So I got to share it with my family, and uh, it was good. How nice was it? to play the different positions because yes dh is a position you got to figure out how to keep yourself occupied in between at bats you got to play first you've got to play catcher how nice was it early now to kind of do it all right out of the gate to prepare you here for the second half yeah it's nice to get it all uh do it all uh dh is hard like you said you know and just you have one job and it's to hit so you don't really know what to do in the dugout uh whether that's you kind of got to learn how to stay warm and get ready for your next at bat. I like to be able to go out and defense and kind of focus on two things. So, uh, but yeah, man, it's been good. Uh, I got to catch. Uh, that was awesome. Uh, first was really cool too. So, uh, yeah, it's been good and, uh, just ready to keep going. That's a great, you know, it's a great point. And it's something that I've talked about for years. I hate when people just say, I'll just DH him. You're like, no, 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 that's, that's yeah. not how that works. The DHing is an art form because, if a game is, let's say, well, they used to be over three hours, you're participating in only like two minutes yeah. of three hours. So what do you do? Do you go hit? Some guys ride a bike. Some guys watch video. I know guys who have taken showers in yeah. between yeah. at-bats and chains. So it's like you got to do something. And I know you've done a little bit in the minor leagues, but and as you mentioned, in Oakland, it can be cold. How do you stay warm the whole time? Have you thought about kind of like a strategy or a routine, of what you're going to do between these at-bats? Uh, not really. I still need to work on it a little bit. It's definitely, like you said, man, it's not easy um, to just kind of – we're only – I'm only in there for, like you said, about two, three minutes of the game. So I got to kind of get a routine. Uh, I've just been kind of hanging out in the dugout the times I've been doing it. But I uh, probably should get up there and maybe ride the bike or – go take some swings in the cage for sure. But uh, it's, it's something I'll get better at for sure. And uh, just kind of, as you know, get more games under my belt and uh, keep going with it. It'll get easier. How cool is it to come up with Zach? Like you're coming up with your buddy. The two of you got to experience it together. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, we were at home, both home for the all-star break. So we didn't really uh, know that we got the call on the same day. Uh, when I got the call, I kind of, had suspicion that Zach did because he's been playing so well. Uh, so I just sent him a little Snapchat just of my face just to kind of get a read on him. Uh, and then he uh, sent me one back and was all excited. So I gave him a gave him a little FaceTime call. We kind of shared a little moment. Uh, but, yeah, man, it's, it's awesome to get to uh, spend this opportunity with Zach up here and kind of get our feet wet together. And uh, hopefully uh, we kind of have a lot more games to do it with each other for sure. How much does it mean to you? And then how about the guys that are still down there that they saw that you guys earned it? This isn't about where you were drafted. This is I mean, you guys played your asses off and you earned this moment. How much does that mean to you? And how much do you think that means to the guys that are still down there that they can look at and say, hey, if Tyler and Zach can do it, we can do it too. Yeah, it means a lot. Uh, you know, I've been 
we work really hard day in and day out. Um, that's we were down triple A and we everyone knows what's going on up here. A lot of opportunity right now. Uh, so uh, we were down there working hard, trying to get up here as fast as we could. And uh, we got the opportunity. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of other talented players down there that could uh, begin the opportunity soon. So, yeah, I think it's definitely motivating for them. And uh, it's going to be fun uh, next couple of years. Was it easier from you from a catching standpoint to catch people that you have already caught in Vegas? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely nice to have that familiarity um, with the pitchers. I got to pit, catch most of these guys in spring training, too. So there's a yeah, little bit of – we kind of have a little bit of familiarity there, too. So uh, it's always nice to be able to have caught some before and uh, kind of have that relationship. Have they given you any indication what you probably will do most defensively when you play? I think I'm going to be doing it a little bit of everything. You know, I'm going to I'm going to catch. Um, I'm going to play first, and then it'll be the DH too. So uh, just trying to get my way in the lineup any way I can, and do anything I can to help this team win. So when you come up now that you've gotten your feet wet a little bit, have you kind of set goals for yourself? What you want to accomplish? What what you expect of yourself here in the next few weeks, if not the next few months? Uh, not really. I haven't really set too many goals yet. Uh, still just trying to get the hang of it and uh, kind of just kind of settle in. Uh, I kind of want to just settle in first and kind of get going, get on a little groove. Um, so that's kind of what I'm looking for now. Um, but uh, no goals have been set yet, but uh, just trying to go out there every day and just being consist- be as consistent as I can be. Now we talked about the check swing as the first hit, and it's like, man, nobody cares. You just want to get your first hit. It looks like a line drive in the book. Tell yeah. us about the first hit. Yeah, man, it's uh, I didn't really realize how much pressure like was on like on you coming up, you know, like trying to get your first big league knock. Uh, but that's definitely not how I drew it up in my head as a kid. Uh, but, uh, you know, they all count. And uh, it was a pretty cool moment. Then I got to back it up with a pretty solid hit after that. So that was a good yeah. feeling for sure. Now, everybody has a big league moment. And there's a lot of different ways you can have it where you just go, wow, I'm here. I'm in the big leagues. What was that one thing, whether it was in the clubhouse, on the field, meeting somebody, seeing somebody, facing somebody, what was that one, What was the big league moment where you just went, I've made it, I'm here? Yeah, it's got to be uh, running out to go catch for the first time and Carlos Correa stepping in the box. Um, I mean, that was pretty surreal to me just to kind of see him face-to-face. You know, you watch him on TV, win a World Series and stuff like that, and then you see him face-to-face in the box and – Wishes you a healthy season and career, and it was just a pretty surreal moment for me there, right there. Oh, so he said that to you? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Because it is, it's like, you know, you've been watching all these guys for years, and now all of a sudden, they're not on TV anymore, and for a lot of you guys, they're not on the video game anymore. They're real people, and you're now competing against them on a nightly basis. Yeah, I mean, it was crazy just to see him face-to-face, and like you said, I mean, playing video games, and he's been the face of – the Astros, too, for a while, so it was pretty cool to see him in person. Well, I, I can tell you that everybody is so – they're so hyped to have you here. We, You know, we've been – you know, we talked to you down there at spring training. We've been watching all the numbers in Vegas and watching the highlights, and we know you're going to be a big part of this organization for a long time. You're going to be a big part of this show for a long time. So congratulations for you, your family. Uh, and it's great having your dad on too, and just going through this whole experience with your family. Just uh, enjoy the ride, my friend, and we'll talk to you a lot right here on A's Cast Live. We'll do, man. Sounds good. Nice talking with you.